Today I'm going to show you how to clean your copper cookie cutters. We use Wright's Copper Cream, hot water, very hot water for the rinse, and for your average soiled cookie cutter, just the film that's actually on the sponge is more than you need. Now, here we have a lightly used cheerleader cookie cutter. You see some water spots, little discoloring there. We're going to put that in the hot water, hot soapy water. We do use Dawn. Helps remove some of the oils. Let's sit in there and get warm for just a moment. And I don't know if you can see that it's bright and shiny again over here. You basically wipe this on with the sponge they provide. Doesn't take much work at all. To get around your cutter. Now this is strictly for brightening if you want to brighten your cookie cutter back up to that original copper sheen. I'm sloppy, but this is just a commercial sink. But we have most all getting in these little riffles is not really that bad. If you have some stains that are particularly hard to get at, you just take your toothbrush and go around, get the detail in there. You also hit the seam with this if you like, just to make sure you don't have anything stuck in there. You shouldn't get anything stuck in there. <clears throat> so, now we have washed our copper cookie cutter. Now we want to put it in very hot water, as hot as we can really stand. Don't burn yourself, but the hot water helps the copper dry faster, which is the most important step of keeping your copper cookie cutter bright and shiny at all times. Now, take it out of your hot water, tap it a couple times. I just use clean cotton towels, cheap ones from Walmart. They absorb beautifully, and that's really all you need is to get that water off of your copper as quickly as possible. Now, this is only if you like to have your copper nice, bright, and shiny show ready. Myself, make sure my hands are dry, I'm going to ruin the finish on this cutter. This can use a dusting. I like the patina, I like the color. Over time, the water spots, the fingerprints are all going to mellow into this beautiful cutter. Even with use, with washing, just make sure and dry your cookie cutter thoroughly and it will all come off. Now, to show you how well this copper cream works, I am actually going to clean this cookie cutter. I hate to do it, but for science. Okay, get a goodly amount of copper cream. Now, I'm not scrubbing whatsoever. Just lightly going across it, and you can already see the difference. It will shine your copper up quickly. There's just this tiny little spot there. Go over it just a few times. Switch an area. It's all but gone. By the time I get around, it should be gone. Have another little spot right there. Still see 
some of it. I like to sometimes put it on, let it set for a moment. If you have heavily soiled turkey cutters, it's best to rinse your sponge. You don't see the uh, dark spots anymore on there. Just take it back around. See, it, the sponge just pulls all of the dirt right off of the copper. And now you have a brilliant, bright, shiny copper cookie cutter. You can rinse that with some hot water. Dry my hands with this towel. Again, the most important part is drying your copper thoroughly, making sure you're rinsing it in as hot of water as you can stand without burning yourself. But there you go. That's a pretty darn shiny copper cookie cutter. I hope this helps. There'll be more.